set will glory in your death. What's up, survivors? <laughs> All right, guys. So we're back officially. And that, trust me, that's going to get annoying. But they're only here temporarily. I'm going to go over here. Okay. So, as you guys have noticed, um, there's some stuff around the base. The NPCs are moving. They're talking. They're fighting over there, beating up dummies. Um, yes, this is part of the Thralls Are Alive mod that I've been talking about since, like, episode one. So... Uh, as you guys are probably aware, I took a little bit of a break away from Conan. Um, I did upload a couple of episodes uh, before this one that were... I actually completely forgot that I forgot to upload them. So there was like one or two episodes um, after my little episode that I did where I was like, Hey guys, sorry I was gone. <laughs> I needed a break. Um, well, not a break away from Conan per se, but... Well, yeah, I guess a break away from Conan. Um, a break away from just uploading and all that because I kind of... I ended up doing like almost 35 episodes worth of content in about three weeks. <laughs> so, and that's not just of this game, but like the three different games. So I, I kind of needed to take a little bit of a break. So, but anyways, um, <clears throat> we are back officially and I'm getting the Thralls Are Alive mod set up. Now I already set it up. And one of the reasons why I already set it up is it is extremely annoying to set up. Um, and specifically the, uh, like the idling, this aspect, like setting up the training part of it, easy. That's really not that hard, but when you want your thralls to do something idle, it, it gets a little, it gets a little funky. I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and I'm probably going to turn down the voices too, cause she's going to get annoying every time I'm over there. All right. So I apologize if it's uber, uber quiet. Um, but we're going to head over here real quick. But she, trust me, she's going to be talking the whole time. And this was actually one of the reasons why uh, the training grounds are not going to be in the main area where we do all of our stuff. Because you're going to have to listen to this the entire time from the strength ones. I will cut your heart out. Basically, the same thing you hear when you're out in the, in the field fighting filed NPCs as well as your own when they're talking. I they will... will yeah, they, they, yeah, you're beating up a dummy. He doesn't have a heart. But anyways, <clears throat> so this is, this is my strength training spot. So as you can see, strength training dummies, strength training dummies. And then this is the training ground. This is the training beaking S for strength. And then if we go all the way over here, as you can see, I have the archer one set up for agility. So I've got one of my, I've got the Shadow Guard and one of my other archers out here cur currently working on their agility. So they're shooting the targets, as you can see, a, um, archery training target, which in this case, this, this mod's still a little out of date with some of the updates. It still works, but it's a like some of the wordings are before they change the, uh, the stats. Um, and then training binking A for agility. Now you can also do grit and vitality as well. But I don't have those set up yet. Um, I also set up this too. This is a mod by the way. This is a wood pile. It's supposed to say wood pile 3. It's a typo. Um, when you go to craft it. It's actually wood pile 3. Oop, 3. Um, which is basically the equivalent of your standard uh, large chest. Um, and it works just like a large chest. It doesn't work like the, the box over here. This thing. Uh, the woodcutter storage container it doesn't work like that it works like your standard large chest it's just a skin that changes it and makes it take up twice the amount of space <laughs> but it looks cool so you know what i don't care um but anyways all right so we're gonna come over here she's actually uh idling right now is what she's doing she's actually a te tethered to this social beacon house um but i only have one thing set up with it at the moment uh, but we're going to go up here. Um, they are not doing anything with the mod. This is all normal. You know, the dancing and her on the bed doing the seduction. Those are base games in the emote. But anyways, this is the general's desk. So you can get an officer's or a general one. The general one just looks cooler. And then I probably passed them all up. But then you see all these beds. They're down here. And then she's over here. She's on scouting. Um, 
Actually, I think she might actually be... I think she might be out of stamina. But uh, this is a sticky note order, and if I open it up, you look in here, this is a patrol order. Um, she's tethered to this patrol order right here, so she'll always come back to it after she does her patrol, and then she'll do it again. Um, but I will show you all of that here real quick. So anyways, so if you come up here, you can... As you can see, these are all the people that are currently um, linked up to the mod. And then you can have them set up um, what you want them to do for nighttime, daytime, and evening. So, um, as you know, nighttime is... Well, not as you know, but as you can see, nighttime is blue, daytime is yellow, and evening is red. So, you can choose what you want them to do. And then up here, it shows their stats, what they're doing right now. She's idling, patrolling, training, training, training... So we got the two archers and the one battle class training. <clears throat> but then you can go even do something even more. You can click right here and this will bring up uh, their exact person, the bed that they're tethered to. Those are the beds down there. How much energy they have. So whether they're fully exhausted or not, this bar is fully up green. Because as you can see, sleep, idle, and idle. Um, idling and sleep restore your energy you don't use any energy you actually restore well you can actually change it to whatever you want i have idling restores energy so it's you're relaxing you're just doing something relaxing so it restores energy um things like patrolling um so like her as you can see hers is about half um she normally does patrolling throughout the day um, and her usually it gets down to about right here, but then she'll go and do some training in the evening a little bit just to get up her accuracy and then she'll go to sleep and it'll restore a good chunk of this as well. <clears throat> um, and then down here, you can click on her as you can see again. Yes. So you, she is extremely exhausted. So because of this, she's actually not going to be getting much XP for training. I don't think she'll get any XP if she's exhausted. Okay, she's getting very, very little. It's actually slower than what she should be getting. Um, but as you can see, she's agility level 2, which means she's already gained 2 points into agility. Um, uh, from doing the archery training. Um, and we can go here, click on this one. She can see level 0, so she's still working on it. And then I actually just set her up on the strength one, probably about... 20 minutes ago 20 30 minutes ago um probably at the beginning of this episode it was probably about 15 minutes ago 10 15 minutes ago but as you can see i set her up you can click here and you can set them up on which one you want so you know training beacon a or s i already have her on s for strength then you can set them up to what idle beacon you want so like i have you know social beacon house social beacon room you should always name them makes it so much easier um, patrol order there's that sticky note I didn't name it but if you're gonna have more than one you want to have it named and then if you have them working you'll have like the work beacon and then on alert guard patrol guard and ignore um, you can set that up as well and then you can also set up the equipment and stuff but I don't normally mess with that but uh, over here it also shows the same thing you know training this is this place she trains social what she's social at working if she is working I do not have any of them working right now, like doing actual working. That, that part of the mod, I probably won't use. <clears throat> we might. I don't know. We'll see. It's basically they just do farming for you. They don't physically go out into the world and farm. They just kind of, there's like a resource node, and then you have to do like all this fancy stuff, and <clears throat> you have to farm like so much items within like two minutes, and then it'll take a percentage of whatever you farm, and they will farm the same amount throughout the day. Yeah, it's 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 useful if you want some casual farming while you're online where you don't have to be at the base. But it's also uh, I don't know. I don't really care for it. Um, th they're already planning on doing something like that in the game anyways. I mean, they already kind of have it with the golems, but they said that eventually they're going to take it further. And um, I think I talked about this before. There was uh, there was some talk there's nothing set in stone but there was some talk about making it so your thralls can do the same thing as the golems but they were also going to make it so that you could put them to farm an area and you could leave because right now you have to stay there which kind of defeats the freaking purpose unless you were just going to afk in the area but then you'd have to be in a spot where you couldn't get attacked and it's just it's a horror deal 
So uh, they talked about making it so that the golems could first... Uh, God, she just will not shut up. And this is one of the reasons why I'll probably have the strength training. And, like, the training grounds, like, in a completely different spot away from the normal area that we'll be in. Because that's going to get annoying. Um, but, yeah. So, that's basically how you do it. But you have to set them up to a bed. So, what you would do is you would, uh, we'll use her because she's already tethered to something. So, we'll grab her real quick. We'll have her follow us. Um, and then we'll go over to, uh, I see, here's the problem. I didn't name these beds, <laughs> so I don't know what bed she's on, but I'm just going to show you guys here real quick. So you would go here and then you have like this entire wheel, actually information that's make. Okay. There we go. It says whose bed it is. So if I go here, least bow captain, that's you, right? Yes, that's her. So this is her bed right here. That's why you're supposed to name the beds after the person. So when you look at it, you know whose bed it is. But uh, you would go in here and you would go to assignment. And then you would go click here, assign bed or unassigned bed. But you would want to assign the person to the bed. You have to make sure that they're following you. And then once they're assigned to the bed, that's when they'll show up in the desk. And then you can do all kinds of stuff with it. Um... This basically targets a bed so you can see where it's at. It's nothing important. Um, and then what was it? So if you go in here, you can um, clear patrols. You can reset the patrol points for her for this bed. So I could do that. So I could just go click, boom, and then clears control points. So she no longer has uh, patrols that she has to do. Debug mode. You can summon the thrall to this location. Um, clear follower teleport back. Oh, no longer following me. So, as you can see, she already has uh, herself set up to idling. So she's going over here to the idle beacon, um, the social beacon, which I have her set up for, because um, I was just doing some testing and some stuff like that. But uh, she's supposed to be on guard, I believe, is what I have it set up to. So this current idle order. So if I go over here, I have it set up to the thrall pot. So if I click on it, and I hit four, you have to look directly at it and it's gonna bring up this specific one and there it is. So you can see that there's a little arrow here. Now she's supposed to be standing right here and then looking this way, but because of the position of the arrow, she's having a hard time. So we're gonna grab that and we're gonna do this. So I'm gonna do that like, if I can get it about right there and then kind of, yeah, we'll keep that like that. We'll do this, pull that over, Oop, let's do that, and I think that's good enough. But uh, as you can see, I have her on guard one, idle one, and arms cross, and then I'll hit save unique. So save unique basically means that it will s be specific to that thrall, to that one thrall that you have assigned to it. And then she went into guard one. So that's right now, she's in, no, she's an arm cross. Um, but then she also has idle one and guard one as well that she could do. So, and I have her set up to this one by herself. Um, if you, if you hit the other one, which is save all, if anybody has idling part of their schedule, that means that they can also come over to this beacon and do it as well. Because, um, it's this specific order right here, um, is linked directly to this uh, social beacon house and only the person that you have selected to social beacon house will come to this spot and do these orders. Um, only one at a time will. The other ones that come here, they will come here and do things um, differently. Like they'll come here, they'll go to like, if we go here, click on this. Uh, female talk, male talk, male talk. They'll just do generic whatever you have in here. So if they're on idle, they'll come to this place and they'll just talk around it. So that's what that is. Uh, what I what I set up was a specific one that who if you have them tethered to it, they will that only that one that's tethered to it. If you have two that's tethered to it, the 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 AIs will fight over who gets to do it, and it's just a waste of time. So it's best just to do that. So. <clears throat> now you're probably thinking it's like what's the point you could just have them stand there well 
I don't want them just standing there. Like, yes, at this moment I do, but eventually I want her to go off and do some training in the evening, which I believe she is set up to do training in the evening. Let me go double check. It is 1600, so she should be doing it. Uh, bow captain. No, she's on idle. So we're going to do training, and we're going to do update. Uh, training beacon agility. Update. So at 1600, which it is after, it's already 17, she should leave here in a second to go shoot at the targets. Or no, maybe it was 1800. I think I have it set to. Yeah, because I forgot to do that. I need to do that real quick. So we're going to open up the thing for this. Hello. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I'll fix that later. But um, I have to go into the admin panel, and I don't feel like doing it right now. Um, you have to be in admin mode to use this mod, by the way, to set it up specifically. But you can actually adjust um, when evening starts, and I was supposed to change it to... Um, 1500 from 1800 because for me evening is actually closer to like four or five o'clock not eight o'clock <laughs> that's actually night for me like late late night so that's what i see it as um so as soon as it hits 1800 she should go training and then at 1800 i believe she one of these two will come inside and go do uh idling i believe the um she will go upstairs because she's set to the room and i can't remember what she's set to i think she's set to tr uh, patrol after this um yeah something like that so it's about to be 1800 oh but i wanted to show you here real quick so 22 she normal she originally had 20 because she's a level two in agility she now has 22 instead of 20. so as you can see this slowly increases their stats without actually having to take yep and there we go 1800. so they're both walking inside yeah she's set to patrol because she's on scout um she's set to guard so she's idling so she'll go upstairs to the spot i have her set to and as you can see now that she's not on guard duty inside the main house she got stuck Oh, she fixed herself. Um, she's going to go back here and uh, target practice. Uh, they both are because the other one was also on guard duty. Now they're going to come back here for the evening um, for a few hours and work on their agility training. All right. And then if we go over here. As you can see, she is now on patrol duty. She's done shooting, so she's on patrol, so she's going to start doing her scouting. And she took over for the other chick that went back to go do training. And she's set on to train her strength pretty much uh, both uh, daytime and evening. And then if we go up here, she now is on her guard duty. She's on guard duty inside the room. So that's kind of where I have her set up at, at the moment. Um, and I have her attached to this social beacon right here. Social beacon room, idle orders, if I come over here. And I have it tethered to the bed specifically, so I'm going to look at the bed. And then hit 4. And then I'll bring up this thing in the top right corner. And as you can see, there's the arrow down there. And guard, ponder, and arms crossed. Um, she, she will choose between these, or you can set it up so she does one specifically. Um, but I have it set up so that she does. Um, I actually want to move this back some, actually. If I can get it. Yeah, about right there. Save unique. There we go. But uh, you can have it set up so they can do just what a specific one by making all three of them the same thing. But I let them choose what they want to do. So I think she's on idle or guard. I can't remember guard because i don't have idle on this one there so she's backing up now so she can get closer to where the node was unfortunately she, oh there she goes she turned and faced the right direction so as you can see wherever the arrow is is not where they're going to stand they kind of stand a little off in front of it um and sometimes you got to have to play with it a little bit because it doesn't always work but it is what it is and then i'll come back over here 
and we'll put this back in here. Now you don't need multiple idle orders. You can use one idle order and just, you know, make sure you remember where you put it. But um, I took this little advice from somebody else. Um, just, just make different idle orders for every single idle, for every single node that you set up. That way, all you have to do is go to that specific node the specific beacon and just pull the freaking idle orders out <laughs> and just do it that yet yeah, you'll have more idle orders that way and the same thing with patrols you only need one but it's best to have multiples so you'll have like a whole board full of sticky notes and all your patrols will come to that spot well depending on where they start at obviously you're not going to have all of them in the exact same place because that would be weird um you know eventually like we'll have like a patrol like you can even set up your animals to do this too by the way um, like I can have like, you know, wow, well, I was going to say Koopa, but King, King died by the way, guys. Yeah. King, King is dead. Um, he died when I was out farming level 40, I brought King with me and I brought, uh, yeah, I brought her with me <laughs> and, um, we ran into the berserker and, uh, yeah, the Sumerian berserker. King uh, got him down to about one, two hits away from killing him, and then the Berserker killed him. Yeah, it happens. So, unfortunately, we lost King. But you can set up your animals to patrol as well. Because I was originally going to have King set up to patrol um, that entire wood line right there between the two ponds. Um, and just have him killing all the shellbacks. <laughs> just... And no, he doesn't gain XP for doing that. He'll just kill them. But it's not like I get much XP for killing. I gotta kill like 10 or 15 of them to even get like 1% anyways. Ugh, okay. So that's basically how this entire mod works. And they will keep shooting until about midnight because that's when evening ends. Unfortunately, you can't choose when nighttime starts. It automatically starts at midnight. But you can choose what they do um, for that shift. Um, trying to think. I think that's about it on that front. So th this, you can get really crazy and creative. Um, you know, you can have... Um, like eventually I'll have all of these guys all set up on their own things. They'll all be doing like archery training or strength training. They'll be doing like fatality training or grit training as well. I'll have them bounce around. Like you can have them do like two separate trainings. Like you can have them do like during the day, you can have them like do training for like, you know, um, agility or strength. And then. For the evening, you can have them go do training for, like, you know, something else, basically. It's like if they did a, like, strength training in the during the day, you can have them go do, like, vitality training in the afternoon. And then you can just have them go straight to bed. Like, if you want to, like, maximize that kind of stuff, that's how you do that. But then the thing you have to keep in mind is, is that if they run out of energy, like, if they get exhausted. So let me show you guys again here real quick. I really need to get the officer's journal so I don't have to keep coming up here. Um... <clears throat> but like if this goes all the way down the amount of xp they get it slows the progression down so like this one right here like as you can see she got a little bit but she didn't get that much oh so it's midnight perfect uh you're about to see what happens so after midnight they all come back to the house wherever their bed is and they lay down and go to bed if they're set up to do that now the, the ones that are set up to sleep they will get yep as you can see they're all coming back and they go lay down and they go to sleep for night because they're set up to go sleep at nighttime now the only one not set up to sleep at nighttime is my guard my shadow guard <clears throat> she never sleeps <laughs> literally she 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 never sleeps um i have her set up for idling at nighttime <clears throat> so if i come all the way down here to my shadow guard i have her idle and idle so with my my settings on my mod or the with the mod not my mod but the way i have it set up is idling restores about two points of exhaustion um 
per hour in the game, basically. So if you can technically, you don't have to have them sleep. If you have them idling during the evening and idling during the nighttime, and you have them training during the day, it counterbalances just enough. So as you can see with the idling, it is going up. <clears throat> now, the problem is, is because I have training and I have training set so high that what's going to happen is um, it'll t it will eventually after about four or five days, it'll eventually catch up to where her exhaustion will hit zero. So this is this is actually a bad reason why this is why you shouldn't do that. But I have her set up as that right now. Um, I could just go click here and then go sleep and then go update and then she'll go lay down. It'll take a minute to register, but she should go lay down. Hopefully. There we go. There she goes. So as you can see, now she's walking off to go lay down. Now, when they go to sleep, their exhaustion goes, uh, they re they replenish more of their exhaustion um, during the nighttime. Oh, she's stuck. Come on, get unstuck. What the heck are you stuck on? Oh, like there's a cat there. Here, let me help her out. I think I actually know she is stuck because of the cat. Cat's getting in her way. That's the problem with the cats. They have like the biggest, funkiest like area AOE hitbox. So if we go back up here, I can show you guys here real quick. Oh, click. So I can show you how fast it goes up when they're sleeping. So I should start going up much faster when they're asleep. Definitely a lot faster. Um, who was the one that was like pretty much purely exhausted? Her. So yeah, here you go. So this is the one, was it her or her? It's her, okay. So this is the one that has training and patrol. So as you can see, um, yeah, <laughs> because she's for training and she's patrolling and there's not a lot of downtime and since nighttime doesn't last very long she ends up being exhausted like over exhausted and eventually she will end up the same way right now she's okay she's been fine lately but eventually she'll end up like her where by the time she finishes about half of her training session she's already almost fully exhausted and then between that and then patrolling in the evening she's pretty much pooped um, because patrolling also uses up two points where training uses up, uh, I believe five points, um, sleeping gains 10 points back. So she base, you basically get double the amount of points you use, but since sleep nighttime doesn't last that long, you eventually get screwed over. That's why you got to have a delicate balance. Um, now, obviously, it's because of the way I have it set up. I set it up that way so that it uses a certain amount of points because I want training to you. Like, if you're going to be training, you're going to be tired, especially if you're training all day. All right, sorry about that. And we're back. Okay, so as you can see, they are all up and about and moving right now. Um, unfortunately, um, because I have it set for them to wake up at 5 a.m., um, which I might extend the sleep schedule to um, 6 a.m. or actually maybe like 7 or 8 a.m. because they're not getting enough energy back at nighttime. And then they turn around like her. She's going straight out to go training again. And then she's training. Um, she's training. Oh, I think a lot of them are training actually. She went from sleeping to idling. Oh, that's right, because she's on guard duty. So for her, she's she's always at full. <laughs> and then she does training in the evening for a little bit and gets a little bit and then goes straight to bed. Um, so yeah, you can set up all kinds of things. You can actually, like, you can even set up, like, art, like, evening parties where you have them all on, like, an idol and then you set them up inside of like a pub or something or a bar, you know, whatever. And they all go hang out there and you can have like your dancers and stuff. And you can just have like one big fancy setup. It's pretty cool. But it takes a lot of like tweaking and managing and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, 
but uh there's not much more to say that's pretty much how the combat uh leveling and idling part works um i'll probably showcase the um the farming part of it eventually but i don't really care for it um yeah i don't really care for it but uh yeah or the working part farming part now i was gonna set the dancers up to be part of uh um a thing as well but i ended up deciding against it just because they they can just stay there and just do their thing she can just lay on the bed and do her little seduction and moaning and groaning and she can just stand there and do whatever dance i decide to make her do um <clears throat> and that's that and then you know the little shadow guard comes up here in the evening and you know ends up going to bed i should actually move her bed upstairs just because so let's do that here real quick I mean, she's upstairs already so she might as well have her bed up here so there we go and then yeah so you can you can get like really creative and set up like little town like little houses or townhouses or whatever for like your people to sleep in and then you know you can set up like guard posts and patrol posts like the patrolling you can get like really creative with it like i've even done some like big ones in the past where not here though but to give you an example like like i come all the way over here make it a lot easier to use the map like i've had patrols where they would like walk all the way up here and they would come all the way around and they would do like one big massive patrol of this area and they would kill like all the you know they kill everything basically just like anytime they came across a creature they would kill it and then what you would do is you would set up well, thrall pots um in like specific areas and like strategic areas along those paths and you would put gruel in them so if they ever got like low on health and they would get close to the pot's radius they would pull the gruel out and then you know it would help heal them up a little bit faster and then they would continue their their pathing but you can like have like if you want to keep like an area like clear of stuff and you just don't want to have to deal with it often if you have like high t like this server like with my server we have high uh, timers basically and this can get where people can get really trolly about this too so you have to make sure that people are being respectful because we have an hour reef an hour respawn timer so an area can be completely wiped out if you have a patrol through that area you can basically keep it where nothing spawns through that area as long as the thralls are strong enough to defend themselves you know they're leveled and they're fully trained and they're patrolling like they've already finished their training and they've maxed out you can have them patrol an area like up here or something where they'll patrol like in a massive area up here and just kill off everything and they'll keep it dead as best they can as long as they've got food to keep themselves going and keep themselves alive they'll be great but it, it requires a lot of management like you have to stay on top of the thrall pot the good news is is thrall pots food takes forever to run out like i think we filled this up I mean, the server was running. We filled this up two weeks ago. And I think I just only had to make about five stacks just to top off all of them because they were all down to about 75. So it takes a very long time for the gruel to run out in these. So. And I recently topped them all off. So you could you could probably have a patrol good for like a week to two weeks and just like every other week or so you just have to go fill up the thrall pot with a bunch of gruel and then there you go. Um, but you can get like really creative with stuff like that. Um, now, unfortunately, you can't do this in caves like instant ones like where they have to go inside of the instance. You can't set it up in there so you can't have like your NPC go inside of an instance and then keep it clear for you. It just doesn't work. Um, because you can't technically build inside of them. You can, but you can't. You can place things, but you can't build on them. So that's the problem. Mm, sorry about that. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah. But anyways, that's the mod, and I know I kind of beat around the bush and kind of just talked the entire time about it but uh yeah that's that's how that works and it's a pretty cool feature we're gonna definitely going to be getting a little bit more creative with it as we go but i wanted to start doing this now because 
Um, I've been holding off on it for a while, and I kind of need to get it done because the we probably wouldn't have lost our th two big hitter thralls if I had been doing this sooner because I could have put them through vitality and strength training, which would have probably they would have survived. Like th they literally were like only a few hits away from killing the freaking thing, and if they had better strength and more hit points, they would not have died. Not to that one skull, uh, Reaper. Uh, Reaper Queen probably would have killed them, but <laughs> yeah, like having the extra 20 points you get from training is so huge with the way that we have our server set up. Um, like it's almost a requirement, like you have to do it, you don't have a choice. Um, but yeah, so eventually they'll all be going through training, they'll all have like, so like we'll set up like a little camp. Um, so if I can show you guys here real quick, I plan on moving, um, the taming stuff, um, and then all of this training grounds, like all the training ground stuff, I'll, I'll eventually have like a bridge set up like right here and then a bridge set up over there. And we're going to bring the training grounds all the way back here. I'm going to destroy all the resources over here. Um, and we're going to put the, uh, the thrall camp right here and then we're going to uh we'll put the thrall camp right there and then over here we're going to have the whole training ground set up so we'll have like four archeries we'll have four of the uh strength training we'll have four of the vitalities and four of the grits and we'll have them all set up in this area right here and we'll have like a nice little fancy like fenced off area we'll set up some tents We'll get like the big black hand tents and stuff like that and we'll have them set up in the area and then we'll put down a bunch of thrall beds um for all the ones that are over here training most of the time and then you know we'll have like you know we'll we'll set it up nice it'll be it'll it'll look nice and pretty um <clears throat> and then we can have them set up and do like little patrols we'll have them come up here actually i was debating about setting the training up here and i actually still might um, I just need to be careful of that. Yeah, the Reaper Queen over there. So, so the Reaper Queen will probably end up getting despawned once I start building because of the build radius. Because I have the build radius set to, I believe, 1.2, 1.3. Um, <clears throat> or maybe it's the other way. No, it's 1.2 or 1.3. Um, so once I build like right about here, roughly, um, once, if I place up enough foundations right here and start like cutting off this pathway right here, which would be kind of pointless, but what, if I decide to do any type of building, it's going to destroy the Reaper Queen spawn as well as these two guys, which I'm okay with because there's actually two other Reaper Queen spawns. Um, and plus, um, we really don't need this queen here. Anyways, because of the purge. Now, obviously, everything can change when Chapter 2 of um, uh, the Age of War comes out. Because that's when they're going to be doing the purge revamp for the entire game. So, but that's, I don't have to worry about that until probably early fall. Late fall. Because I'm pretty sure Chapter 2 will be sometime around then. Since Chapter 1 starts in July, I believe. I believe chapter one is supposed to start early or mid July. Um, <clears throat> and that's just my guess based off of when chapter three of age of sorcery ends. And of course, cha um, chapter one is already in test live right now. So they're already working on it. So they'll probably, probably test live for another week or so. And then they'll probably go do a bunch of fixes from all the feedback. And then, you know, they'll do a few more tests and then they'll probably launch it. Because I know Chapter 3 ends in 25 days. Battle Pass. 25 days, yep. Chapter 3 ends in 25 days. That's when the Battle Pass ends, so that's when Chapter 3 ends. Um, yeah, Age of Sorcery, Chapter ends in 25 days. So, yeah. So, we have 25 days left as of the 28th, 27th of May. So that basically puts us at the third week of June. So at the latest, the first week of July is probably when we'll see chapter one of Age of War, which that's when we get the coffers and the clan stuff and all that crap and a few extra things. I know they got some other stuff planned and that's also when the new battle pass will start. 
<clears throat> of course, this is just my speculation at the moment. What are you doing? You're supposed to be training the whole time. Why did you wander off? Was she fighting? That's weird. Huh. Whatever. Um. <clears throat> but yeah. But anyways, guys. <laughs> I'm just blabbing on at this point. I've I've got a lot I want to do. I need to get them trained up. Um, I do want to try to go get a uh, berserker. Um, and then also I do want to go. We also we need to start the story at some point just because I wanted to get some progression done on that. Um, the dreads shouldn't be too difficult at this stage of the game for us. We should be able to fly right through it, no problem. Um, so I'm gonna let probably I'll probably let her train up a little bit on strength and vitality. Um, I'll probably wait until she's like maybe like level five or level ten. Um, so um, when I say level five or level ten, I mean in training. Um, and then I probably will get her to level 15. She's level 7 right now. Um, and then I'll probably send her through some vitality training as well. Um, that way we can get her nice and trained up so she doesn't get killed too easily in there. Because she's much weaker than our tier 4s that we lost. So we gotta do that. Uh, how close is she to level 1 in strength? Uh... Getting there. About 75, 80%. So she should definitely hit one, level one in strength uh, before the end of today. Um, so it looks like it's taken her about two to three days to get a level. So you're looking at about three hours, two and a half hours um, for levels. So if I let her train. It probably would take about 20 to 18 hours for her to get 10 points into strength at this current rate. So if I let her get to level 10 in strength and then level 10 in vitality, it'll probably take about two days, maybe three days, depending on if I stop her, if I don't want her overdoing it too much. But uh, yeah, you're looking at probably a good solid week and a half to two weeks if you wanted to max out everything, which I feel is a very reasonable amount of time for an online server you know if you wanted to get the plus 20 like uh, honestly we're you know we're playing with stats that we choose but if i had to choose like if this was like an official server and this was kind of like a mod that where they actually added this training aspect into the game i would probably be like for something like this i would say for an official server I would say about six hours per level. So, or maybe even 12 hours. Yeah, 12 hours per level on like official service settings. Like if I was going to do this on an official server style way, I would probably make it, you would get like two points a day. So to max out, you would be looking at two weeks just to max out one stat. That actually seems more reasonable if you were talking official, but we're not playing official. We're playing boosted, modded, hardcore, pain in the ass mode. But at the same time, our thralls also die very easily, so I can't afford to sit around and wait eight weeks for them to max out all their stats through training and then take them out and train them as well to level them on top of that just for them to turn around and die two minutes later. So if I'm going to have all that happen, I would prefer not to have to sit around and wait, you know, you know, fucking six weeks for them to get leveled up and fully trained just for them to die i'd rather that be like a week <laughs> if they're gonna die on me i would rather the whole training and leveling process take a week and then then if they die on me then oh well you know i only wasted a week instead of like a month and a half or two months but that's because stuff dies easier here also i've been running past this this whole time um i have the Naminian um saddle from the battle pass um no i did not craft it because i can't craft it i bought it and how did i buy it well that's because the way we have our server set up is you can buy things with currency through the quote-unquote admin shop and well you know i am the admin of the server but um yeah saddles as well as some some items most most gear and items and weapons and things like that like um 
I think we charge like 200 gold um, or a thousand silver. Um, so you can buy like any saddle in the game for 200 gold or a thousand silver. Well, technically it's 200 gold, but you can exchange if you don't have 200 gold or you don't want to spend it, you can quote unquote farm a thousand silver coins and that will basically translate into 200 because uh, five silver coins equals one gold coin based off of our server. Um, that's how we have it set up. Whoop. Um, <clears throat> and that silver is actually still here. This is the thousand silver. Um, just because I haven't set up the community center yet to deposit this into the community vault, basically. Um, so I just have it sitting in there. And then I have my money, my my what I have left over. Because I actually hit up the silver mine like three times in the past week. So this is my chest right here. So I still have a little over a thousand silver and I have about 500 gold coins. Um, so that's my current money. I can't wait for the uh, the treasure system. That's going to be so cool. Because that's connected to the purge system that's supposed to be coming out in uh, Chapter 2 of Age of War. Um, from the way I understand the way that works, um, from my own research, as well as uh, reading up on what other people have said that they've discovered about it, is it's basically going to be a opt-in or opt-out system for the purge. So... Now, this is just speculation right now because we don't 100% know if this is how it's going to work. This is just how we understand it so far as of at the moment, okay? It could completely change by the time Chapter 2 comes out. Or we could all just be completely way off the banter here. But the way they described it and the way it looks like it's going to work is the amount of treasure, quote, treasure you have. So there'll be certain items in the game that you can place around this treasure box in a quote unquote treasure room. That will increase the value of how much treasure you have. That specific treasure box will be the target of the perch. So you have to protect it. So you want it in a very secure location within your base. So you want your treasure vault to be in a very secure location. And then the, the the purge will target that vault. The higher the treasure value, the bigger the purge. Basically, the higher the level and the bigger the purge that gets. So you can put your silver coins in there. You can put your gold coins in there. You can put your dust in there and all that kind of stuff. Um, but then the items that you find around the world, like certain rare statues or artifacts and things like that, you have to bring them back physically. You have to carry them. And then you place them down in your treasure room by that treasure vault. And it increases the value even more. So the higher the value, the higher the rank of the purge and the more shit in the purge that attacks. And it's basically an opt-in, opt-out. So if you don't have a treasure vault in your base, you get no purge. If you do have a treasure vault, you get a purge. But if you don't have the treasure vault, you can't have the treasure items because you can't place those treasure items without a treasure vault. So it's kind of like if you want to have all these cool fancy treasure items like decorating a vault, like having a treasure room, you have to place the treasure vault. Like you don't have a choice. So it's like you have to decide, is the purge worth having all this cool shit and having a treasure vault? Or is it not? <laughs> you see the thing? So basically the whole map can be... I guess the whole map is going to be purge territory again. But at the same time, it's not going to be purge territory. Because only the people with treasure vaults, treasure boxes, that have high treasure value will get targeted by the purge. And I guess that's how it's supposed to work. Or it's quote-unquote going to work. Again, this is still pretty early because it's in test live. Well... Purge system's not in test life yet, but the treasure system is. So I'm really excited for it um, because I'm 100% going to have a treasure vault. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to not. Like, I, I make the game difficult on purpose and increase the difficulty of the purge. I'm. That's going to be fun. You know, that's going to be fun. I can't wait. So I'm excited for that. Um, I'm excited for all the new stuff and to build a treasure room. Like, we're definitely going to have to rework our entire base layout um, once Chapter 2 of Age of uh, War drops because, whoop, hello, butt shot. Um, <clears throat> I hit my mouse. <laughs> 
Um, I actually moved my mouse pad that caused my mouse to move on me. But anyways, um, so I'm excited for that. So we're going to have all that fun stuff. But anyways, guys, uh, I know not very exciting episode. I just wanted to kind of show you guys um, the the mod here real quick and um, what we plan on doing with it. We'll have a much larger scale version of it once we start expanding off of our little safe zone island once we have thralls that can actually defend them defend us defend us defend them defend us yeah whatever um but um in the next episode um i'm debating between doing um the drag no we're not gonna do the drags because we can't do the dread yet because i need to get one of my thralls leveled up because i can't beat the boss by myself i need an npc with me um they can't do it by themselves either but I think between if I had two with me, um, we should be okay because I'm going to bring healing arrows as well. I'm probably going to be overdoing this, but it's a boss and I can't even kill three stars yet. Three skulls yet. So, yeah. So, I'm curious to see what happens with that guy. Um, so, actually, you know what? I think in the next episode, while we're waiting for um, her is I'll probably start working on the the training and taming or the training and conscription area <laughs> um, as well as the sorcerer area. Um, so the sorcerer's area, I believe I showed you guys where I was going to put it um, in a previous episode. So let's go do that real quick. Um, Get stuck. Ugh. There we go. So we're actually going to be putting the sorcerer area over here. So it's just going to be up on this hill just outside of the base. So we have the gate over there, and then we have that gate over there. Well, the sorcerer area is going to be sitting right here on top of this rock, and it's going to be on two levels. It's going to be on the upper level, the lower level, and then it's going to come down to here. So we'll have... Um, now, the, the summoning circle thing, we're going to actually have two of those. We'll have one set up over here, and then we're also going to have one set up over by the main building. That way, we don't have to run all the way over here to summon our body um, and do other things like that. But we're going to have everything else set up over here. Um, so, we'll have, you know, the, 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 the platforms where we stick our... our thralls that we're going to sacrifice we'll have summoning platforms we'll have the the graveyards and the zombies and all that stuff um they're all going to be set up over here and i'm just going to have like the basically i'll just have like the zombies and the undead protect this area um so if we get attacked um since zombies um and golems aren't affected by the poison of the uh, reapers um, they'll be perfect for defending this area in case they decide to come up over here so that's what we're going to do. We're going to have them protect this upper area. And uh, I think I'm going to do that possibly in the next episode, if not the one after that. Um, just because uh, I have to do a little bit of farming in between each episode to make sure that I have enough uh, materials to build each of the, uh, the areas. Uh, we will be using the black glass, black glass, dragon glass, whatever the heck it's called, um, from the Isle of Sipta. Um, as our uh, sorcerer area. <clears throat> and I believe it'll be the only time we actually use that materials when we do it, when we do this here. Um, other than that, we'll probably use Nominian for pretty much every other build or like a mixture of Nominian and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is where it's going to be going. Um, yeah, I'm excited to finally get that done and out of the way. Um, I was actually ex thinking my wife was going to be on more, but she kind of wasn't. Um, she actually ended up not playing because I wasn't playing and I was kind of defeated the purpose because what, was, I had two reasons for not playing as much. One, I was taking a break because I'm so much further ahead than she is. Um, ooh, are they done? Ooh, I totally forgot about these guys. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, there are two white tigers in there. 
We got two white tigers on this batch. Baloo, do your job, please. Like, he's getting his ass kicked. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Look at that. He got hit, like, two times, and he lost, uh... What, like, 150 health. Anyways. But, um... She's, 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 she got like three levels and then she stopped playing. She's like, oh, I wasn't playing because you weren't playing. I was like, I was waiting on you to catch up. That's why I was taking a break. So you could get close to 40. So you weren't too far behind. She goes, oh, and I go, well, there goes three weeks, <laughs> two to three weeks. Oh man. But anyways. Okay. So yes. Um, I put in some tigers in here earlier. It looks like we got two white tigers now. Hex, yeah, and then we got a bunch of useless tigers as well. So we're just gonna drop the useless tigers. Now, I don't have any skins for tigers. I don't think I do. I used to, or I do on PlayStation. Yeah, because these are greater wolves. Um, and then I have the dog, so you need wolves for that. Um, you need wolves for the, for the Iron Hound as well. Yeah, wolves for that. Those are hyenas. Panthers. Yeah, unfortunately, because I, um... Because I don't have my stuff from my original my uh my other playthrough or my other i don't have my shit from playstation i pretty much don't have any of my earlier stuff because i've got like tons of other skins as well as the first half of age of sorcery all on playstation unfortunately so i don't have any uh skins anymore which is sad i did have white i did i did have like two white tiger skins at one point so not anymore all right well uh, either way i'm gonna place this one down Oh, yeah. Look at that crappy-ass freaking health. 900 compared to the 1,800 he has. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I only have one emote. Yeah, I just have to relax one right now out of the three. But, yep, there we go. So we got our tiger. All right. Well, anyways, guys, <laughs> this has been dragging on long enough. I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. As always, guys, I apologize for the slow pace of this episode. It was just kind of like just catching up with you guys and just kind of talking about the Brawls are Alive mod a little bit. Just, you know, sh showcasing it a little bit and showing you guys what we're what we're going to be doing with it and what we're going to be focusing on and all that fun jazz. I'm going to put my horse over here. Just hang out right there, I guess, by the water. And uh, our barn cat and all that stuff. But, uh, yep. All right, guys. Anyways, thanks as always. I am going to uh, probably go to bed here soon because I'm getting tired. Um, supposed to be going to the zoo with the kids tomorrow, so should probably get some rest. <laughs> ah, I'll sleep with the horsies. I'll sleep with my horsey. Ain't that right, spider? We'll sleep together. Anyways, guys, thanks as always for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, and bye-bye.